Hi, my name is Kelly Jones and I'm with Forward Life Coaching. Forward Life Coaching helps individuals navigate beyond obstacles to reach their end goal. One of the things that I often hear people talk about in coaching is complacency and motivation. They just need that boost to get them going because they're feeling like they're in this rut. And with that in mind, I always say that motivation without inspiration can still leave you in that same exact place. I mean, motivation is great because it's that turbo boost that gets you going. But if you don't have that inspiration to keep you going, to keep that fire going, you can end up right where you were when you started. My story. <laughs> when I was younger, when I was in high school, I always wanted to run track because a lot of my friends ran track and they were very, very, very good at track. So I said to my track coach, I said, I would like to run track, but I don't really know that much about it. And she looked at me and she looked at my side and she said, you're a sprinter. I said, okay, I didn't know. So I said, let's go. So I began to run the 400. My freshman year, all my freshman year, I ran the 400. I came in last or next to last, but I was on the track team. My sophomore year, I ran the 400 for the majority of the season. And just before the last two meets, we had a practice where we ran five miles and I ran the five miles, but then I ran back to go get some of my teammates and I brought them back in. I ran back and get some, my, brought some of my teammates, got some of my teammates and brought them back in. And because I kept doing this over and over and over again, full of energy. And at the end, I was still talking. My coach said, Jones, you got all that energy. You're a distance runner. I want you to run the mile. Okay. So the next meet, I ran the mile. I came in second. The following meet, I ran the mile. I came in second. So she said, Jones, you're a hybrid between distance and sprint. I want you to run the 800. So I'm thinking, oh my God, the 800, are you serious, the 800? All my friends who run the 800, they compete nationally and they compete in the state and they compete in the regions and they're all so good. And, but wait, you believe in me? I'm gonna do it, sign me up. So she signs me up to run the 800 and, uh, the day of the meet, I get there and this fine, fine guy from Columbia High School, oh my God, said, Kelly, I wanna to talk to you after your race. Well, you know what? That's enough to get me going. That's motivation times two. Then after that, my coach said, Kelly, you got this. I said, but coach, I don't know how to run the 800. Tell me, tell me, what should I do? She said, just run the 400 twice. Run the same speed as the 400, but just do it twice. So I'm like, okay. So I'm standing at the starting blocks, right? And I'm ready. It's 400 twice, right? So the gun goes off, bam! And they're running, and they're running, and I'm running with them, and we're running, and we're running, and we're running, and we're running. And so for the first 300 yards, I am in the pack, I'm in there, I'm running, I got my game on. But after that 300 yard mark, I hit the wall pane. And I'm running in slow and it was literally like that because they get pow, pow, pow. the other runners kept passing me and then all of a sudden i was by myself and when people saw me by myself they started yelling from the stairs you look stupid get off the track just fall you wake it you're taking up time move out the way but what they didn't realize while they were doing all those che cheers and taunts is that i had something underneath there was something in me underneath those comments and that was inspiration because before I left the house that day, my mom said, Kelly, your dad and I are not gonna be able to be with you for this track meet. But we wanna hear about you crossing the finish line when we get home. And so I kept running, I kept running. So I went from 300 to 400 to 500 to 600 and I just kept running 700 and 800 until I crossed that finish line. And I crossed that finish line with my head up because my parents believed in me and they gave me the inspiration to complete the task, not just start it, not the motivation, just the boost, but to finish the task. See, when I was growing up, my parents always taught me, you don't compete with anybody else. You compete with yourself. Every time you do something, you do better than your best. And if you don't do better than your best, go out there and do it again until you can do better than your best. So when I was on that track, I was competing for my best. 
and my best, like I said, made me walk off with my head up, walk off the track with my head up. So when I got home, my mom asked me, she said, Kelly, how'd you do? I said, well, I got lapped in the 800, you know? And she's like, you got lapped? I said, yeah. She said, but did you cross the finish line? And I said, yes. Because that was my goal. My goal was to cross the finish line. And I did it. I didn't cop out. So the question is, motivation is good because that's that boost. But how do you get that inspiration to keep you going to make sure that you finish the task, that you cross the finish lines of life? Three things. One, mentor. You need to mentor someone because as you mentor someone with your skill set, what's going to happen is they're going to ask you questions and make you stronger. As a teacher, if I go in and I try to teach my kids a lesson and I don't know the answers, they're going to be Googling, they're going to be talking to their friends, they're going to dismiss what I say and I will be discredited. So a lot of times I say, look, you know what, I don't know the answers. If I don't, I don't know the answer to this, let's Google together. And what happens is they make me sharper, they make me stronger, they make me understand the hows and the whys and the go deeper so that I can then share it more accurately with others. Have someone mentor you. Because as they're talking to you, they're going to make you more concise. They're going to make you more precise. They're going to help you as you look at your pathways and your, and your discernment of certain subject matters so that you get short, sharper and stronger. Work with your opposition. Because you know what? Your naysayers, they're going to show you that either your path is correct or that you need to alter it. And the only reason why you're altering it is because you want to make sure that you reach a larger audience. See, if you know what your goal is and you're cemented in what you got to do and you know that you know that you know that you know that you're going to cross that finish line, you're just looking for more pathways as to how to more efficiently and more effectively cross it. Or if your goal is to reach a larger audience, you want to know how more efficiently and effectively to reach other people with a completely different frame of reference, right? And then lastly, collaborate because you don't know it all. I don't know it all. Nobody knows it all. But when you take your strengths and somebody else's strengths and you put them together, you have a stronger product. You have a stronger idea. You have a stronger uh, goal that is completed because now you're able to have a, a firm product with a firm standing that doesn't just uh, blow away with every single negative call or negative, negative suggestion. You have something that is solid that can stand the test of time. And the thing is, when you want to go, when you want to complete a goal or when you're trying to complete a project, you want something with sustainability. So that guess what? You don't have to keep building the foundation over and over again. You can build on top of the foundation, right? So for me, three things. Make sure if you're looking for inspiration, look to mentors and look to mentor. Look for your opposition and look for collaboration. Those are the things that will keep you crossing the finish line, even when that motivation starts to run out, even when that turbo boost gets tired. So I thank you so much for your time. I thank you so much for listening. I would love to hear your feedback on this particular vlog. Let me know how I can help you, some future suggestions of other of other items you'd like to hear about. Once again, thank you for listening to uh, Move Forward from, uh, for, uh, from Move Forward from forward life coaching. Thank you so much and have a nice day.